We have Professor Yossi Yona. He's a former Israeli parliament member from the Labor Party. And we're also joined by Josh Haston. He is the international spokesperson for Gush Etzion. He's joining us on Zoom. All right, Professor Yossi, I, I'd like to start with you. This election really just symbolizes a major loss for the left. For foreigners, it appears to the rest of the world, like the majority of this public, of the Israeli public, is right-leaning. Uh, but what we essentially saw here is the left and the center-left failing to come together and form cohesive parties uh, to actually make it into the Israeli government. What happened here, and labor specifically, which is, I mean, Avodah, this is the name of the party. It's supposed to be representative of the workers of this country. It seems to be representing the elite today in Israel. Well, of course, your analysis is correct, and considering you know, the last point that you're saying, that there is kind of the discrepancy, if you wish, between uh, the Israeli left parties and uh, the workers, you know, if we can use this uh, word. The Israeli left they, uh, actually is not representing uh, the uh, lower strata of the Israeli uh, society, and I think this is one of the main problems, that it is not able to attract uh, votes from the lower strata of the Israeli society. Now, as to the, uh, the, the grand, or if you wish, the general picture, look, what we have seen here, it's a very interesting thing. I don't think that that, 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 that the center-right actually won in a big margin. It won, and it, it won the elections. But when we're analyzing the numbers, right. we are still there. You know, it's like 50 percent center right and 50 percent center left. What actually happened is that the right wing parties were able to manage the affairs more efficiently, more systematically, and considering the, the whole issue of uh, uh, passing the threshold. And this is right. like a big fiasco on part of on the part of the uh, uh, left-wing parties on the one hand and the Arab uh, parties on the other hand. The, uh, the, the, right. the, 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 the problem, I mean, the issue that not, they are not being able to show inner, inner solidarity to exactly to, to unite and look how so, beautifully the right so wing I, I'd managing I'd like to turn it. to you, Josh, because we're going to be going out for a break quickly. I want to make sure we hear from you. You know, this Netanyahu block is uh, more right-wing and religious than ever before, you could say. <coughs> Sorry about that. Netanyahu has had <coughs> to banned, sorry, with the far right. It, sorry. <coughs> Is this new coalition representative of the right, the public? Yeah, I, I would disagree uh, with your guest in the studio that this is not really about a victory based on solely election strategy. I think the people of Israel have spoken, and I think the people of Israel want stability, and I think the people of Israel want security. On a day when we're talking about the elections, an Arab terrorist tried to run over an Israeli soldier at a checkpoint, tried to murder him, and thank God he was able, unfortunately he's in serious condition, but he was able to uh, neutralize and kill the terrorists. I think the people of Israel have had enough, enough of the policies of Oslo, which led, down, led us down a, a path of weakness, um, which only whet the uh, appetites of our enemies. So I think uh, all of Israel, the majority of Israel, has had enough, and that is why you have a conclusive um, victory by the Likud, and that's why you have so many votes on the other, uh, the other right-wing parties, the religious Zionist party and the other ultra-Orthodox parties. I think people have had enough. We want our security back. We want those measures which will ensure our security, whether it's in Jerusalem, whether it's in Khadera, All Beersheba, right. or on the roads of Judea and Samaria. I think people want their security back, and I think that's what this government has to offer. All right, we're going to discuss the policy soon, but we're out for a quick break. 